Let's continue our discussion of primitive recursively closed classes of functions. Um, we're going to prove um, a few things. So the first thing is uh, the class of primitive recursive functions is primitive recursively closed. This is the first uh, theorem, or rather corollary, that we will prove. So um, uh, why is it primitive recursively closed? The three initial functions are um, uh, primitive recursive. Um, by de definition, they're vacuously primitive recursive. Why, um, uh, why is that the case? Uh, well, because they are obtained from themselves by uh, zero applications of composition and primitive recursion. Zero applications. So they're vacuously uh, primitive, uh, primitive recursive. Composition or uh, recursion. Now um, let's um, uh, let's assume that we have a, uh, some function f that is um, obtained from um, a sequence of um, a finite sequence of primitive recursive uh, uh, functions by composition uh, or um, uh, uh, recursion. Right, a finite number of applications of composition. There primitive recursive functions um, uh, by uh, um, a finite number of compositions and uh, uh, recursions or recursions, then uh, f uh, must be uh, primitive recursive. Why is that? Because every function in that sequence, remember our a constructive interpretation of the de definition of a primitive recursive function, uh, each f um, uh, in that sequence is either an initial function or um, a primitive recursive function, which in turn, uh, by definition, uh, is obtained uh, from the initial functions by uh, a finite number of applications of composition uh, or primitive uh, recursion. So f uh, is uh, in a class of, also uh, in the class of primitive uh, recursive functions. So. A theorem number two, a function is primitive recursive if and only if it belongs to every primitive recursively closed uh, class. So um, let um, some function f be in every uh, primitive recursively closed class. So the class of uh, primitive recursive functions is primitive recursively closed, as we uh, just uh, uh, showed. So hence, it's an easy conclusion. Uh, F is in that class, since it's in every primitive recursively closed class. And uh, then it is primitive recursive. So conversely, Assume, so let f be primitive recursive. Then uh, let c be um, uh, some uh, um, a primitive recursively, an arbitrary primitive recursively closed class. Since um, f is primitive recursive, uh, so uh, there's a finite sequence of um, uh, functions f1 through fn, fn being f, right? So a derivation uh, of uh, f from the initial functions. And each function on in this sequence is, is uh, either initial function or a primitive recursive function. In other words, obtained from the initial functions by a finite number of compositions uh, or, uh, or recursions. So, so it is a primitive, every function in the list is a primitive recursive function. So hence f um, is uh, 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 primitive recursive, right? And hence f is in C. Uh, why? Because uh, it is a uh, uh, primitive recursively closed class. 
and so by definition all of the functions that are obtained from initial, initial functions by a finite number of compositions and primitive recursions uh, will be in C because C is a primitive recursively closed class P R C every primitive recursive uh, function is computable So let's um, uh, quickly prove um, that every primitive recursively function is computable. Uh, why is that? Well, it's uh, almost a corollary now. Let uh, f uh, be uh, primitive recursive. Then f is in every uh, uh, primitive recursively closed class. And we have previously shown that the class of computable functions is um, primitive recursively closed. So since the class of computable functions, computable functions, computable uh, functions, is primitive recursively closed, uh, f is in that class and hence it is uh, computable so so this is good to know every primitive recursively closed function is computable it is total and uh, there is a program that uh, uh, implements it